Ain't no homo over here with this regurgitating. Are you going to answer? He's letting me ramble. He's over there having a chuck on his rambling on. I'm like, I'm like Rambo. <laughs> Rambly Rambo over here. All right. You win. Moving on. You like stopping on the way, voter you're talking about? Ride the bus and stop on the way. Go to places where I have no uh, criminal outstanding situations. 79 dollars from where tulsa to san francisco 79 dollars is all the flight class where am i coming up with these numbers where it costs like four and five hundred dollars to fly somewhere one way background play so you can watch videos you know what you can go there you can like are you kidding me it's way more than that try one month on us you could just not smoke weed for a day and go to San Francisco instead. Is that what you're telling me the cost is? Fucking, I walk over there and somebody will give me some weed in San Francisco. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is, I'm probably someone with weed in San Francisco is like laying on the ground and shit. I walk right out the airport, probably joints, blunts, and, and little little jo uh, jars of weed all over the damn place. Now, I bet you that the Uber leaving the airport, the, the Uber driver got some weed on him, honestly. That's how, that's how uh, California is. Seven miles by seven miles, huh? That's smaller than my city. That's smaller than Tulsa for sure. Can you run the numbers on Tulsa rates? Hey, Jim Bailey, welcome back. Sorry, I wasn't talking to you personally earlier. Brace, can you run the numbers on Tulsa, Oklahoma? Tulsa figures, Matt. I know it's, it's way longer. That's what she said. Uh, at least 20 miles north and south. So you go way out to 61st Street. That, that, so the Admiral would be the middle line of the between north and south. And the middle line in the town. You go out all the way to like 61st Street north. That's at least six miles right there. And then you go from here going south, which is like the white side. You go all the way down. I'm at 101st. It goes all the way to like 121st. That's 12 miles. What's 12 plus? <laughs> What's 12 plus six, Chad? I'm I'm running the numbers and I'm getting 18 miles long, approximately. I'm not sure though. What's 12 plus six? 18 miles long, approximately. Wide. Well, let's just start out east at 161st. And about 10 miles wide. 18 miles approximately. Thank you, Jim. San Francisco smaller than Tulsa. Land wise, I have to Way more people. Yeah, I'm not even counting like what's the call it? Six by three equals eighteen and right. I think you did. Six times three, yes. I'm fucking with Cougars, so we're fucking in the Jag, Kevin. That's a rapper. Fucking the Cougars, so we're fucking the Jag. I told us four times a big land boy. I'm telling y'all. That's why they're like, Steve, what do you need somebody, you know, what do you have to have an Uber for? You know, it's like fucking 15 miles ago somewhere. One way. For real, it's like 13 miles to go here, 11 miles to go to this place. Oh, it's only six miles to go to this place. Well, yeah, start walking. A normal walking pace is like a, 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 a brisk walking pace would be two miles per hour. <laughs> so, go, you want to go somewhere? Go walk three hours each way. That's a six hour walk. Now the Uber don't sound so crazy, does it? Go for a six hour walk. Might as well just be a hobo. Just keep walking. Why, why stop after six hours? <laughs> you would go? I know somebody in San Francisco. And I want to go. I think I'm going to go, guys. I think I'm going to go to San Francisco. I'm getting ready to end this round. If anybody wants to come and say hello to the chat. 
for ski mask. It's not ski mask and friends with that uh, person. Uh, what's it called? Did anybody get the title? Did anybody get get the title? Kelly, did you get the t- title? You see what I did there? Do you see what I did there? <laughs> oh, I roast myself up every single day by continuing to do this. Do you see what I did there? Does anybody see what I did there with the title? No. Hey, uh, Bailey. Hey, buddy. You just made me yawn. Hey, what's up? Nothing. So, have you been? Oh, let me turn you off the speaker. Sorry. Yeah, okay. We're off. All right, there we go. So, have you been to San Francisco or not? All right, last time. Now I'm here. Now I'm fully tuned in, Jen Bailey. How are you doing this morning? Right, I'm good. Oh my God. Um, my God. Um, so did you have you been to San Francisco? Have I been? To, what was stuff? Have you been to San Francisco? No, no, I haven't. I got I can hear you I better now. The volume up too. All right, now we're in the game. No, I have not been. Have you ever been? No, I haven't. Um. Well, the lawyer I have is uh, working about the charge, and I'll just leave it at that. But, um, yeah, I mean, hell yeah, I would totally go. <laughs> have you ever been to absolutely California? absolutely go. Don't they have trolleys and stuff like that? They do, I've heard. What? Oh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, and they got the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz. See, if I went to Vegas, I would never come back. I know I would never, ever, ever come back. I know way too many people. Oh God! Vegas? No. You're talking about yeah. Vegas, Las Vegas? Have you been? Yeah, I lived in Las Vegas with a uh, uh, two different times. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. were you attracted okay. to like all the lights and all the stuff to do, and you just it was like no? I, I, I think I was a victim of witchcraft and uh, and put, put under <laughs> a spell. <laughs> yeah, quite yeah. honestly, in retrospect, that's the newest. That's my uh, current thought of it. But yeah. I, it was okay. It's a nice place, I guess. If you were rich or had like a lot of uh, rechargeable, expendable income, you could. Okay, oh, you it. imagine all the gambling places we would get in That's trouble. That's all it is. I know for there's, a fact to you when I would get in trouble. I know it. There's like a hundred casinos in Vegas, <laughs> and there's slot machines and all the uh, and the uh, what you call it too, like the uh, gas stations and restaurants. Well, see, Clint was there. That's where he got. Um, he got that was actually his legal. Um, marriage, and they kind of did it like uh, through a drive-through. That place sucks. Getting in trouble there. I can't say he's been in trouble there, but I mean, oh my God, he he loved it there. The gambling and everything. Oh. <laughs> I, you I just feel right like there. I would get in too much trouble because, like, uh, I play this bingo gambling thing, and I always hit like my best friend up. I'm like, hey, uh, are you in trouble with the money sharks? No, it ain't that that bad. But yeah, I'll take ten dollars for bingo. You know, I that's what I play. You got casinos out there in in Ohio? Uh yeah, they do. Actually, there's a really really cool one over in uh, Hamilton, more towards um. I'm I'm kind of in the midwestern area, kind of boring. Um, but yeah, they have uh, they, one they right out there. Hey. They give you ten dollars of free playing time, and I get like this brand new kitchen set. Forget. Oh yeah, I. I'll, I'll take about a hundred with me. If I take my credit card, I I'm I'm done. There is. Well, you play slot machine when you go. Oh yeah, or I play uh, Spanish bingo, or not bingo, uh, blackjack, blackjack. Oh, the, do you play with like the dealers at the table, and you play on the videos, like the game? Yeah, but I want to get a hat like that one nice lady that I met, and get some like black sunglasses, and just kind of sit there with a cigarette and look all Billy badass. But yeah, what I'm, was that I'm, hat Do you remember? I forgot that already. But yeah, no, they bad. have a smoking room and everything. Well, not not that type, but I mean, like if you smoke or you vape or something like that, they've got like a little area you can go out and play the penny slots and stuff. You, you, get you know what's up. crazy is yeah. that like you can you can smoke cigarettes and you know then you can drink liquor and alcohol and stuff, but you can right. not even though weed is medical. Even if you have a medical card, you can't smoke weed in the casinos. 
Yeah, here. I have my medical cannabis. Or, or Vegas either, for that matter, when I was there. Or Atlantic City, for that matter, when I was there. Oh, I bet you there's yeah. people in there. I was there, too. What was that? I said, um, well, see, the thing is, is I know they have those uh, vape pens at those dispensary places. They have everything there. They really do. But, um, yeah, I think uh, right now we're passed for uh, medical, but not recreational. But it's fine. I Listen, I don't care what anybody does in their spare time. All I ever ask is, it's like, just don't drink or drive under the influence. You know, that's that's my only thing. Because I have uh-huh. a... Yeah, a little 19-year-old just got out of um, doing a year prison stint because he was driving drunk and uh, somebody ended up being a paraplegic because of it. And believe you me, he, he learned his lesson. He can never have a license again. And and quite frankly, I, I agree. I know it's mom. Like, why not? Because of punishment? It's just punitive, no license ever again? I mean, he went to prison, right? He went to prison for three years. Only for a year? Wow. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying... Is it, three, is it for three. Yeah, everything kind of fast-forwarded when I went to jail. It was like this... Was, wow. Who are you talking about here, though? The 19 Um, It was it, it was a kid. I, I knew his mom, and um, okay. he graduated. I'm not your actual son. I got you. Okay. Oh, he's like he's like one, but I mean, he learned his lesson. He feels really bad about it, but he didn't have a perfect driving record prior, so they just they yanked it. I don't know. I don't but have license? a my license. That's, That's crazy. Cool. I didn't know that. I mean, I guess I. I mean, I, I would think like one year in prison and yank the license for life. Like, please believe. I don't. <laughs> well, he's he he for probation. No, he's got, he's on parole for two years. My bad. For two years? That's still like so such a small I went to prison for four years for conspiracy. I didn't even do anything. You didn't rat on anybody. That's what they wanted you to do. I'm I didn't be right about that. Oh, Good I point. know for a fact you don't. Yeah, no, so they uh, he was up here before you you dropped her. Uh-huh. Like I'm glad that with all due respect, I'm glad that he got out, obviously, free everybody. But to for me, they could just always bring my shit right back, smack in the face. Like this guy, there's a death involved. He accidentally uh, was responsible for a death, and I know paraplegic. Did, did he live? Are the person still alive? I guess I don't. Well, it's uh, an older man, and he ended up losing his job, and um, the family dealt with it really bad. See, um, a lot of no, these, a lot crazy. of these kids knew my mother, and when they got out and they found out she passed away and got in touch with me. It was like they were, you know, they're they're younger kids, you know, to me, they're kids. And I mean, I'm glad that he doesn't have his license anymore. I, well, I mean, I, he didn't have to spend 25 years of the rest of his life in prison because he could have been like criminal murder. the person and not survived, yeah. That was like, just thinking that some people in the same, in a different situation, they would have given somebody else life without parole, like a criminal. I had an ex that actually was driving drunk, and uh, thank God he didn't hurt anybody else, but he did lose his life. It was about a decade ago. It was pretty. It was pretty sad. They called That's me true. in for questioning because he left my picture up there, and it was just, yeah, his brother was all pissed off. Everybody gets pissed off. That's why today I, I was like, when I got timed out, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go. You know whatever. <laughs> I understand. It wasn't, you, I get you can't it. be the, the don't don't like it. You know you, you you. It's hard to like be the voice of reason like when I'm unreasonable or when I'm in an unreasonable. I think you time. have every right to get pissed off. I mean, it, if I got up every day and I had a slew of people coming in saying god awful shit, and 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 some well, of you know, the thing I is, I ban, I ban these people. I don't invite them. To those people. I don't like let them linger. Like when they're in there, I'm like ban, get out of here, bitch. And then you know what happens? They come right. They, they come right or, under another sock. The replacement right there. It's like so. There's really no winning. It's very frustrating. Well, it, listen, you got to look at it like this though. They only have three chances under their own account. So you guys screw it up just being a sub to come in and harass them, like that guy that went to your hearing. I mean, that dude is like creepy. I Joe. Like you need to go away, old dude. He got exposed. He got exposed for having inappropriate conversations and in, in direct messaging with a minor aged female. She was fourteen. Oh yeah, I got accused of uh, messing with an eighteen year old, and I was like, "Y'all got to be well, eighteen is legal. Like, age. Did you really think There's I would?" The big difference that? between eighteen and fourteen. One's one's legal, and one isn't. Is the main difference. I mean, besides a million other. Like, Oh, a 40 some year old guy like why would he be messaging mm-hmm. any context with a girl that's 14. i know of a dude in this community 
well, this isn't a community, okay? Communities are united. Oh, there's yeah, no yeah, you mean YouTube community, your, the, Gen, the Gen Daily community. Oh, these YouTube streets, we got to clean them up. It's like, just clean yeah, them up. Yeah, like, I, I, I think that's a corny term. I never, I've never embraced that term, calling it the YouTube streets. It, it, well, community is what gets me. It's like community are people that band together. There ain't no banding up in this moment. There are little communities. Like, I got a little group. Of, you got, I'm sure, people that support you, right? Like, you got the people that... Oh, well, yeah. I guess you know. Where do you start? You just uh, go and uh, go on panels. You don't really have a channel right now. Oh you, yes, you, I do. You, I do have a channel. Mm -hmm. This I one have right here. Channel. Yep, Jen in the new pack. Mm -hmm. oh, awesome. I know that. Nobody. Last time, last time before you went to jail, you were streaming on Instagram. I think it was. Oh my God! When wasn't I? I looked at my staff. I was like, Oh my God! Because I'm still getting checks from YouTube. Believe it or not. Do how? What's it like on Instagram streaming? Do you, do you find it the same? Haters are over there too. They, or they yeah, I used to go to sleep on my IG lives. It, listen, I didn't even notice on the comments. It was kind of like I felt like I was in a club, right? And it was like 153 people. And see, I have like 4,700 followers on my IG. So it allocated me to being, oh my God, probably 23 hours at a time. You can do a 23 hour live stream, is what you're saying? Yeah. Instead of a one hour, because whenever I trained on there, the max was one hour. How many followers do you have? You don't mind me asking? Are they, well, they banned me, but I only had I had like a little over a thousand, I think. Yeah, they, I, I'm, well, I'm about to be made of verified. I get a blue check mark at, I don't know if it's 5,000 or 10,000, but I know they're, it's like 47 a month, and then I get my blue check mark. My IG is probably a stronger following for me than my channel. But I am in Miss Monetize because now it's 500 instead of 1,000, so I'm at 400. I'm, I'm terrified to start a live on my own. I'm going to be honest with you because it just, I I, I don't know. You should, ready. you should come over here a few more times and then build up your uh, comfort level or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel okay with you, yeah. Do you not do you not have like uh people to moderate your chat that you would trust like oh i got five i've had the same mods ever since well one of them is over in the hive but um are any of those ladies that attack you former mods or supporters Did, were you oh cool? yeah my mods, i i literally have probably 15 people oh well, i have a, a a private room on my ig right it's called the gold ticket room only the cool people come in and i play music all day and uh yeah that's what we do but I, I tell people, if you even bring kids or your drama or your bullshit, you dox somebody, anything, then I kick them out. They don't get to come back in. It's called blackballing. <laughs> like, you all want to act like this is a college taping <laughs> party. I, oh, my God. When I went to college, I went online, but I did go to college parties, and somebody paid me $5 to throw a watermelon off the roof, and it hit the guy. He asked me to do it. <laughs> Are you sure? you know drunky mcdrunko and he's like oh and i said okay so i just chucked it off and it hit it right in the head i didn't get did back him up. oh hell no did but he didn't get fucked up it just bumped back <laughs> it just exploded on his, his noggin oh it hell yeah it did and it was i mean <laughs> I, at the time i was drinking i don't drink anymore i'm you know but yeah good job it was funny as fuck yeah i was drunk as hell i was is like that a, is that a, a recreational weed state um, we are, um, I believe it's uh, medical right now. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, I don't think anybody, listen, I I don't. You do a whole watermelon? Like that shit would fuck somebody up off the balcony. That shit would like. I mean, he fell over, but he got back up and he like, <laughs> it's like you just fished at me for throwing the first one. And I go to online college, bro. Boy, do I wish I would have did the criminal justice, man. Communications and science brings in probably as much as the teacher does. Criminal justice would have been. What do you have? Communications and science? Um, my associate's degree is in communications. My bachelor's degree is in communications and science. So I'm like a whiz in English and science. It's math, man. It is math that does me in. Algebra 2 was the very last. That oh, yeah. Now, Spanish, I'm much better at now because I know a lot of people. Well, I know what puta means now. Somebody called me a puta, and I looked it up, and I said, oh, my God, I got to learn this. Fucking again, love language, like y'all call it. It's a bitch. It's a it's a bitch, I think. Say the word, though. What is it? 
it's either puta or punta. I don't know. <laughs> puta, <laughs> that ain't no. Said, you know, like, si, senorita, si, senorita. But, like, the puta thing, no. I well, not, let me hear you close. I'm trying to make sure I hear you right. Say it again, please. It's either punta or puta. I don't know. <laughs> Damn, we bitch. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know Spanish? Me and I do, I do. I, yeah, but I'm not like they're bragging on you that I know Spanish. I'm not like big shot yet. No, say I'm saying that, 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 that don't mean fish. Yo, you can say punta. Say punta to me. See, punta, punta. Punta is a uh, bitch. It is. Uh huh. Yeah. Somebody yeah, around the community said punta. And punta is the female man. version, and punto is the is the is, a, is a male version. Oh, a punto is a man version. Yeah. Well, the lady that said it, she's okay. I like her. But <laughs> what, they, what, what, what were they having you say that for? They, they were calling you that? What? They were joking around. They were laughing, but they were like, yeah. Puta, puta. So I asked Clint, because Clint knows Spanish really good. And I said, what's a puta? And he goes, oh, it's a bitch. And I said, oh, I'm a good. I downloaded a translator <laughs> on my phone that speaks nothing but Spanish. Boy, do you want to hear that? <laughs> <laughs> I knew Iguamente. I know Iguamente. Mi amor. Te amo, all that yeah. bullshit I know. I hated Spanish. I hated it. Ooh, I hated it. So what was your best subject? It's gotta be English. Well, I actually got a degree in communications also. And I have Did a, you? Yeah, and I have an associates in uh, as well. I had majored in media communications. I got a bachelor's of science. Wow. Wow. And a minor wow. in speak. I'm, I'm not That's stunned. It. I am not stunned. There are probably far more that have told you you are too smart for your own good because they tell me that all the you are too smart for your own good. And I was like, but I don't have any common sense, of course. Have you ever talked in front of like large crowds in person, like with large crowds, like a, at a maybe, like a ceremony or something, or like a wedding? I, maybe I would like to. I would like to. I would like to talk about. Well, definitely cancer, the Cancer Association, because my mom passed from that. And I remember calling all these uh, places well, around the world. Would, day. Yeah, cancer sucks. Go but ahead, though. Probably cyberbullying, maybe like domestic violence and stuff like that. Because, I mean, I I, I have been a victim of it. But, I mean, I, I, I haven't been too kind to other people. And I've admitted that. But, yeah, I wouldn't mind speaking in front of a whole group of people. No. It wouldn't bug me a bit. Mm -mm. I don't get stage fright like that. Mm -mm. No, I was just curious if you had done it. Like in, 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 yeah, yeah like I've that. done it for like PTO and stuff like that for school and, you know, bullying and stuff like that. Yeah, because I, my goal was to be a counselor for troubled kids. That was that was why I did that. So what what did you want to do? Uh, I was going to try and work on, be on the radio. I wanted to be on a uh, the radio maybe a sports broadcaster you know I, that is so weird because uh clint and my my friend actually were talking about doing that have you ever thought if i was able to nab an hour worth of uh podcast time would you be open to doing that an hour of podcast time what does that mean would i be going to podcast for an hour it's kind of like being on the radio so basically what we would do is um you would have Is like your record, I would have mine. Like have a conversation and record it, right? And then edit it. Kind of what we're doing right now, except people donate and. But it's not live. Really cool. Yeah, I, I would Is nap it, it if you want to do it. Do you want to do it? Well, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. Sure, if it was you, I might go on yours. Okay. Well, then I can make a call today. Do it. I actually have a friend that works for the radio that gave me an hour in the middle of the night. Oh, you're saying that it would be something we recorded and then they would put it on the radio afterwards? We would be on air at night for an hour. Oh, we would be broadcasting ourselves on the radio as well as live streaming. We would definitely be on the radio, for sure. Oh, wow, that's cool. yeah, no, that would be cool. How would we hear? Like, what is it on? It, well, what I have to do is call my friend. I'm not going to dox him because I, I know the bee's listening right now. But um, what yeah, I'll do is... I'm just curious how would that... We'd, we'd be on the FM 97 somewhere, like some place. We would be on FM, yes. And depending on what our ratings would bring in in the middle of the night, then we could possibly. Oh, we might have a home run with this one. This could be a home run hit right here. Absolutely. I mean, we can't cuss like we normally do, but I mean, just bantering back and forth. And like Clint, he's been on a show before, and you guys could talk about um, sports and stuff like that. Oh, I didn't even have to bring that up. With Love after lockup. What it was mm -hmm. called? Love after lockup. Yeah. 
I, I listen, if, if they pitch anything, which I can't really go into anything because of an NDA, I myself would not want to do it, but I would encourage him to do it. Now, <laughs> me, more, I would rather work on the radio. I work better with. Do you get that? Like, how does the pay? How does the pay? plan what's the pay plan how do you get money um, oh, okay so with love after lockup he oh, no, no, not that with that. how would we get paid for being on the radio if we did that like, just we, would stop. Make a base pay. we would make a base pay and then depending on what the ratings would be in the middle of the night for so the nighttime slot um what the ratings would bring in uh they would give us like an extra hour and or they would move us to an earlier spot time at night but it is on FM radio, absolutely. I have to do the first one for 25 years. Okay, I see. Now, if you're looking into doing it, then I'll make a couple calls. I'll drop down, call him, and then come back in. Are you going to go live tomorrow morning? Absolutely. And okay. thank you for joining. <clears throat> Thanks for joining and chatting. No, it don't bother me a bit. But I'll drop down, I'll just call him, and uh, see if we can get worked out. But definitely in the middle of the night, we have an hour if we want to take it. Perfect. That will be cool. Okay. All right. Well, you have a really good day, and thank you. You got a great mom. Okay, take care. All right. Bye, take Jen. Care. Bye. Jen Bailey. <clears throat> Jen Bailey, everybody. I'm so hot. Age restriction set 12 minutes ago. My video got age restricted. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Age restricted videos on the Ski Mask Candy Show. Man. Anybody have a dollar for poor Ski Mask? Begging for dollars on the internet. Yes, he asks. Sorry for you. Ooh, you feel sorry for me. That sucks. Uh -huh. No, no, no. No, no, no. <clears throat> no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, well. Power on. Ready for connection. Bluetooth connected. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Didn't I say no, no, no? No, no, no. No, no, no. Right, right, right. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Look at this one. You would think I was making this up, right? Like some, some outlandish nonsense. Nope, that really happened.
in LA voter we started out this whole adventure or whatever this has been this has been a this has been a uh, intermission extended intermission With the banner, you mean? Are you talking about the the banner or whatever, James Blunt? Talking about Emiliano making all that money, I thought the same. That's why he, he only has to stream like once a week to, uh, you know, quadruple. <laughs> like that's absurd, right? The once a week, $800. Man, it's fucking out pretty good to me. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what you gotta do to get money. But it's, it's shitting all over that. We're going live and pretending to be ski mask. Eight hundred dollars. I get it seventeen hours. That's like two days of work. But still, that's four hundred dollars a day. I know, you know there are people in chat to get that. It's not. It's not absurd, but it's it's very good, right? And I, no, no, no. Ski mask, go get a job. I, I fucking wish I could, especially if you get that much money doing it. Jeez. Jeez, I'm out of here. Hating life. Wake me up and fucking what went to this? It's a green day. <laughs> <laughs> 